Hi everyone, we're at the PNSBC 2015 and I'm here with Paul Below. Uh, he just gave a talk on metrics and forecasting using uh, metrics. So I have one question. Uh, Paul, what would you recommend or suggest to new QA managers or that are trying to implement metrics but they might get like pushback from the teams, maybe because of fear, um, on what the managers are going to do with those metrics. Like, yeah. What do you suggest? That's a really good question. Um, it's one that obviously comes up a lot in organizations that are just starting to collect some kind of metrics such as defects. Um, one, of the, one of the things that's important is to demonstrate how the, how the metrics are going to be used. Why are we collecting them? How are they going to be used? Um, and try to, and hopefully they're not going to be used to punish individuals, but try to improve the quality of the products and the services that our organization provides. Um, one of the tools that can help with that is something that I did mention in my talk, which was control charts. Um, control charts are a way of showing whether the variation we're seeing is due to something special happening or whether it's just due to random variation. Um, if someone, if, you know, in that case, there's no, there's no point on the graph that says these five defects were caused by Bob. Um, it would say these are five defects that we found on this case and that falls in line with what we found you know, on previous months of this project or that kind of thing. Um, so just showing people the, the way that we're going to use the metrics um, I think would go a long way toward dispelling that, that type of fear. Thank you, thank you. That's okay. really great advice. Um, we'll post this on our social media. Follow us um, with hashtag PNSQC. See you later.